What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV and in this video we're going to be comparing the cameras of the Samsung Galaxy S6 to the OnePlus 2. So a few of you have asked me to do this comparison and we're going to be doing it Super Saf style. So we'll be doing the front as well as the rear facing camera and we'll also be looking at images as well as video. Do also look out for the audio icon in the corner of the screen and that will indicate to you which device the audio is coming from too. And I'll be switching between these two throughout the video to give you guys a better idea of the differences in audio too. So we're currently using the front facing cameras on both devices and we are in my car so we've got plenty of light and we're gonna head outside and do some rear facing camera tests too. So do hit that thumbs up button and let's get straight to it. So now we're testing the rear facing cameras on both devices. We are filming at 1080p, although both are capable of filming at 4K, which we will switch to in a second. So let's just take a bit of a walk and see what the optical image stabilization is like. So they are both handheld, as you can see. So hopefully it will give us a good test. So now we have switched to 4K and this is the sort of quality difference that you can expect. Now, because this video is exported at, at 1080p, you can crop in to the 4K and see the details and the differences here. And that's a great option that you have with 4K. So we are now indoors in relatively low lighting and we're just testing the autofocus. So going from a point that's close by to something that's a little bit further back. Seems to be doing a pretty decent job here on the OnePlus 2. Now we are on the Samsung Galaxy S6. So once again, exactly the same lighting and just testing out the autofocus. Um, it seems to be doing a decent job, but uh, from what I can see here, it was uh, quicker on the OnePlus 2 and that might come down to the laser autofocus. So that was the video. Now let's have a look at some images. So we're gonna do this in the usual Super SAF style where we are not gonna reveal which device the images are from. We're gonna let you decide which you like better first and then we will do the reveal. So we're gonna start off with the front facing cameras initially. You've got your standard car selfie that I do here. I think both are doing a, a very good job. You can obviously see that the right hand side image is a little bit wider compared to the left hand side image. That's gonna come down to your personal preference. I think the colors are a little bit more accurate on the right hand side. If you look at the blacks on my t-shirt, they do seem a little bit more accurate on the right hand side compared to the left hand side. But generally speaking, both are doing a good job. We've got the S6 on the right hand side and we've got the OnePlus 2 on the left hand side. Now moving on to a selfie in low light, uh, both are sort of struggling here, you can tell. The right hand side image has a lot of noise. The left hand side image has less noise, but it's uh, definitely got some software processing going on here because of the way everything has been softened. And the colors are a little bit better on the right hand side. Now, this one's difficult to call because both are not doing a great job. So I would personally say it's a draw. It's gonna come down to your personal preference. I think here we've got the S6 on the left hand side and we've got the OnePlus 2 on the right hand side. Now moving on to an outdoor image in good light. So you can see we've got plenty of detail here. Both of these images are really, really nice. You also have some shallow depth of field, which is always great to see. And uh, once again, I think I'm gonna call this one a draw. Maybe slight differences in terms of the color. We've got the OnePlus 2 on the left hand side and the S6 on the right hand side. Now let's go in 100%. You can see here both have plenty of detail and both are very, very crispy. So this is great to see that we've got this much detail on both devices. I would call this a draw. Now moving on to an outdoor wide image. You can see both once again are doing a great job. You've got some nice dynamic range. I think details in the clouds have been maintained somewhat on both devices. Slight color differences once again. I think it's a little bit cooler on the right hand side. This is going to come down to your personal preference. A little bit more contrast on the left hand side, I think. We've got the S6 on the left hand side and we've got the OnePlus 2 on the right hand side. Now, moving on to an indoor image in good light, we've got these brands here just so you can see for yourself. And uh, you know, you've got something familiar here. Not that I endorse any of these in any way too too close to call we've got the OnePlus 2 on the left hand side and we've got the S6 on the right hand side now moving on to an indoor image in low light so this is relatively low light and I think the right hand side image is doing better you've got more detail in the image I can see although the left hand side looks a tad brighter but I do generally prefer the right hand side image. We've got the S6 on the right hand side and we've got the OnePlus 2 on the left hand side. Now getting the lights down even further so the curtains are closed and 
Only a little bit of light that's creeping through can be seen here. I think both are doing decent, but once again, I think the right-hand side image is maintaining more detail here, and that is of the S6. We have the OnePlus 2 on the left-hand side. Now, what about the flash? I know some people use the flash. I personally try to avoid it as much as possible. I think there's a clear winner here. We have the right-hand side image, which has much more detail, whereas the left-hand side image is very washed out. And we have the OnePlus 2 on the right-hand side. The S6 is on the left-hand side. I think this does come down to the dual-tone flash, which is helping out here on the OnePlus 2. So there we have it, the camera comparison between the OnePlus 2 and the Samsung Galaxy S6. I think overall both are very capable cameras and are going to be giving you great results both from the front and rear facing cameras. Now if I was to pick an overall winner in terms of the video I would say it's the S6. I think on the front facing camera you can see you've got more detail. The OnePlus 2 only has 720p on the front facing camera as far as I could see. I looked way through the settings and there was no option to actually change the resolution of the front facing camera. The rear facing camera as well I thought was more stable. I think this is because as well as optical image stabilization the S6 also has video software stabilization which does help and there was also less focus hunting on the S6 compared to the OnePlus 2. In low light situations as well I found that the S6 was overall better and produced more detailed results and also in the video of the OnePlus 2 in low light you may have noticed that it was a little bit choppy. Now the reason for this is that the frame rate drops to 20 frames a second instead of 30 frames a second. I don't know why they do this, this happens on a lot of Android smartphones. I think this is a tactic that some manufacturers use in order to make their video look a little bit brighter because of the slower frame rate but this results in very choppy video which is definitely not good. Images in good light were very similar overall I would say. Even in terms of the front facing camera, both do have five megapixels. Although the S6 is a little bit wider. Now this is gonna come down to your personal preference. Personally, in my opinion, the S6 is a bit too wide for my liking, but it is generally okay, especially if you're gonna be taking some group selfies. So once again, that is gonna come down to your personal preference. One area where I do think the OnePlus 2 did well was focusing in low light. I think because of that laser autofocus, it did manage to track focus better in low light compared to the Samsung Galaxy S6. In terms of the audio, I would once again put the S6 on top. I think the audio was more rich compared to the OnePlus 2. So it looks like the S6 is still the king right now in terms of the cameras, but you do have to bear in mind that the OnePlus 2 is significantly cheaper compared to the S6. So I would still give OnePlus 2 lots of credit here for the cameras. I think that they have done a great job to include such nice cameras at this price point. Well, that's what I think anyway. What do you think? Do drop me a comment below and let me know your thoughts. It'd be interesting to see what you thought. Now, I do post lots of images from lots of different devices on my Instagram, which is at TV. So if you want to see more images, then do go ahead and give me a follow on there. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. And if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe. I've got plenty more videos coming up on here and you're not going to find any better camera comparisons on YouTube. So make sure you do subscribe and you can also see one of my related videos here in the annotations. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV and I'll see you next time.